folks. Whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows up. Everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Replace fear with love. The human mind is like a fertile ground where seeds are continually being planted. When you are impeccable with your word, your mind is no longer a fertile ground for the words that come from fear. Your mind is only a fertile for the words that come from love. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 346, Nasdaq's up 97, S&P's up 26, gold contract down $7.60, trading at 1775 an ounce. You got silver down eight cents, twenty-six dollars two cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up thirteen cents, seventy-three dollars twenty-one cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. Ten-year note down two ticks, trading one thirty-two oh four. The thirty-year up one at one fifty-nine twenty-six. And king dollar, king dollar is down three ticks, trading ninety-one seven oh four. Euro is at one nineteen. Yen is at one ten point eight six. And the British pounds at one thirty-nine to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven. Nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S and P's, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, let's bring up the futures first. What you have out here is that we're at all time highs. The, the S and P's having a hard time, you know, basically, uh, you know, being up here. But guess what? I expect you're going to see this break top side. Right now, we're at forty two fifty eight. We hit forty two sixty. 42.58.25 uh, was the high. That being said, the closing high is 42.36. Uh, so when we hit that high, we gave it up and we gave it up in spades, and then we had the little downdraft. I expect what you're going to see out here today is that you're going to see this S&P goosed into the close. The reason I'm saying that, if we get over to the NQs and take a look at the NQs, what you're going to see out here is that the NQs right now are at 14,000. 363. We take a look at this baby, and what you're going to see, I mean, this is this leg up has not only just, you know, happened, you know, the the NQs are way, well, it would make sense because the futures, you go to the, the following month, but the futures, uh, 14,046. So we're already 315 points on the next leg up. And if we take a look at the composite, okay, what you have inside the composite, the ABC structure up in the composite is uh, 14,530. We've hit 14,414 thus far. The NDX, the three Qs, your ABC structure up there is 353.69. And right now we've hit 351.46. Now, what you also have here is this, okay? We are contracting in volume in an incredible way. So what I expect you're gonna see here is this. Picture what we have. You you have the end of the month, the beginning of the month, July 4th happening, all that above. So I expect, number one, that we will see these ABC structures finish. That being said, what very well could happen is, particularly if we keep getting this contraction, is that then you're gonna get a pullback and you would get the pullback to where the breakout area was. That's how that normally works. So that, if we look at the cues, what I would, what I'm saying specifically is that you, we get up to the thirteen, the, the 353. More than likely, it's going to go higher than that because uh, the bottom line is that you know you get into that level, you can stretch it. Then that pullback will come back to the breakout area, reject lower price once again, and just get ready to go again. Um, what I have seen. In the past is this, is that after July 4th, the July 10th, you know, to the 20th can get really dicey, man. I mean, in a big way. So we'll see where, uh, where this is shaking out. But it looks to me like that that's how this baby is shaking out right now. Let's go take a look at a couple uh, equities for the couple of the Tigers. Freeport Mac Moran would be the first one. Freeport Mac Moran right now is trading 37.47. This is not a bad setup, man. You got a big downdraft. Okay, so we had the downdraft. Didn't break a swing. I mean, yeah, Freeport McMoran wants to go back to its highs. You know, 40 to 46, and right now you're at 37. Uh, TGB, now TGB is a monster gold uh, copper stock. Um, that's trading 210 right now. 
We take a look at this baby. Same deal, man. Yeah, let's get a high volume high too. 267's game. They, these came down, the copper stocks came down hard, there's no doubt. Now you can kind of see it, uh, TGB actually is in better shape than uh, Freeport Mac Moran, but I think Freeport Mac Moran is going also. Um, and but you, what, what, specifically what I'm talking about is that you can see on the weekly basis, TGB came down to 14 million, but yet it was going into 33 million. And then if we look on a weekly basis with Freeport Mac Moran, it had more volume, but when it doesn't break a swing point, it makes a huge difference. Um, and it didn't break the swing. So Freeport Mac Moran was going into 150 million and did 213. But when you don't break the swing point, it makes a huge difference, man. That's, that's the bottom line. King Dollar. What do we have with King Dollar? King Dollar right now is trading flat out here today. We're at 91,792. If we go into the note and bond market, they still want higher price. I mean, uh, the 10 year note right now, you get a sideways move. We've done a million contracts. In the 10-year right now, um, this baby, the 10-year looks to me like it wants to run through this 135.15. Right now, you're at 132.04. We take a look at uh, some of the uh, higher volume equities out here today. You got, uh, let's see, what do we have? Oh, so you got AMC's down a buck and a half. Uh, Tesla's up 29 bucks. Tesla's making a run. We were talking about this yesterday. Tesla's making a run for its swing point. Uh, that swing point that we're talking about in Tesla, it had the volume in it. If you want to see, it had the break yesterday with volume. You can see it broke the consolidation yesterday. You had 31 million shares. You got 40 million today. You get a high volume spike up here at 780. 780 is coming at you uh, inside of tes Tesla. That's, that's what it's looking like. Uh, we go over to Google. Google's at all-time highs. And bottom line, just made another one out here today. Amazon, Amazon's trading off a bit it was a few minutes ago yeah it's down 60 bucks that's after uh getting close to its high now i suspect the amazon's going to hit the high which is uh 35.54 we hit 35.24 missed it by 30 bucks today but you still get a high volume high so i expect that that is going to get tested dow dow industrials right now trading up a 341 nasdaq up 106 s and p's are up 27 stay right there folks come right back <laughs>